Hello everyone, in this video I will create this Virat Kohli reel I saw on Instagram. You can watch the CapCut tutorial link in the description. So let's get started. First I will check these composition settings. You can copy these as well. Then click OK. Then simply click New and create a solid. Then here I will just simply create not white but grayish white background. And then click OK simply. This is our background. Now I need to add a rectangle like this to be animated this one so how we can do that i will just simply go here and then right click or you can simply go here and then add a rectangle like this if you want to add stroke you can simply enable stroke like this i don't need it then in the fill color you can change the color any you want then in the roundness section you can give this roundness this is looking cool so once this is done we will animate this you need to go to content then rectangle path one and then simply disable this chain then click this keyframe and move this as our final position right here then move this and simply make it zero like this so our animation will be like this you can see is this is very smooth so i will just make it more smoother by pressing f9 and then I will just move these keyframes like a uh, graph like this. So it is looking like this. Now I will bring in the Virat Kohli image. So I will just bring in here. As you can see this. So at the start. But at the end I will just simply press S. And shift P to uh, unlock these properties. So I will simply just adjust it. And in this frame mm, this is looking good mm, like this i will just simply make sure to uh, this and then this this is looking good i will add a scale and an opacity keyframe to this and at the start i will make the opacity zero and the scale also zero scale will be zero and it will give us this animation you can just select these press f9 go to graph editor make sure to choose the speed value graph and then just make our graphs like this it's looking good like this now once this is done we will just simply animate our text so just add a text layer and then type in my text i will type in Virat Kohli this is looking good now i will just press s and p shift p to make sure to add our properties then i will just simply scale it up and place it right here like this you can also add other text i am using this an example so i will explain certain effects so you can just use presets or you can use uh, inbuilt animations i will go to effects and presets then in animation presets go to text and then you can also choose any text i you want i will choose this one like this you can choose many i you want i will just go to ray selector and move these keyframes like this to make sure to slow or it may fasten the animation like this this is looking cool so you can create this now i want to create this zoom in like this so how can we do that simply just come here and select all these layers as well except the background layer so i will just and then right click on this and simply pre-compose select move all and click ok then press uh, ctrl shift and d to cut this here and then press s and p shift position and then simply throw this and move a few frames then just zoom into it like this and make sure to make our frame like this then simply as f9 to smoothen them go to graph editor and make sure to adjust the graph something like this this one so our animation will be looking like this now you can see it's very smooth so what we need to do we need to create this band so how can we create this 
I will just unselect all these press U again and this is our frame right here I will just select this pen tool and create a line like this then I will just disable the fill and enable the stroke make sure to change its color to its blue so I will change it to blue select this dropper tool place it here then click OK now just simply increase the stroke width and place it right here now we need to do that so we need to hold shift uh, hold uh, alt and drag this down to add the bend look like this so i will just press s on the shape layer and then shift p to open the positions as well now i will just simply scale it down and I will also add rotation to it and rotate it something like this it's not looking good so I will just press here and add a drop shadow effect to it to make sure it enables like this and then make sure to distance it like this and add some softness as well this is looking cool now so where this is animated completely I will just press Windows Shift and D Control Shift L and then cut it here. Come to here and then select shape layer and simply place it right here. Adjust the rotation a little bit more. Now we need to also animate this one. So how can we do that? Like this. So how can we do that? Simply just go to shape layer and then simply add and then add trim path to it. Select the properties. Now what we need to do, we will just see add the end keyframe and end off like make it like this so it will animate along the path so just here and then press F9 then simply go to graph and take the graph like this so this is our passion for now like this now you can add text also you can I have added stroke a bit more so I will just decrease the stroke to 20 as well or you can add 15 it all depends on you so what we need to create next is this one this one and then these two these move up so I will just use an example for this uh, you can add these images I will use these two images as an example so here our animation adds I will just cut this layer and cut this pre-composed layer as well and then delete these all like this one this is done so I will move these to where our another animation is ended so I will just click shape their turn off so this is right here I will just make sure to open these properties as well I will just simply scale down these images scale down these images like this and position these right here so this is a wider frame you can simply use this technique so please make sure to make these small or you can just simply add these I will just make a copy of this one too and place it above I will add position to it and place it above like this but in my reel I have text so I wonder how can we do that I will just simply create these two these two to pre-compose so that they merge and then for this layer this one I please make sure to just image this from position and then add a position keyframe right here so when this animates you can simply just add position keyframe and simply bring them up making sure to add space for this one right here so you can simply add position keyframe to this 
and then just move it out of the frame so when the disk comes these move up like this this is very easy so you get try with when you are editing Poirier so next to need to do we will just create this animation like this so how can we do this I will just make sure to delete this and delete these two like this click ellipse tool and hold shift to create ellipse shape like this I will create this animation so maybe you have this enabled so I will just disable it you can also do that and in the solid color I will just increase this a stop width and from here I will just UP press S and this make it like this now you can place this text if you want you can use any animations I will just explain this and then for this one I will just select these go to add and add trim path again you can use start or end if you want you can use anything i will add a start keyframe and move a few frames then simply make it like this so it will give us this animation right here if you want you can just simply make sure to change the offset from this and it will give us this animation you can add end as well to make sure to add like this animated fully like this at start the offset value will be like this and then if move shares it will create this circle right here you can say just complete it or you can use this one so it's looking like this it's looking good so at the end we have this animation right here and yes you can also create this like i have created this line so and that's it for today if you do found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more of perfect tips and tutorials